I wanted to take a moment and acknowledge that I am currently situated on stolen land. At Western Washington University specifically, I am situated on the ancestral homelands of the Coast Salish people. It is important to acknowledge and be aware of this to not only respect, but honor the indigenous people of the land in which we work and live on. Thank you. Hi, Professor Camry. Um, sorry for the weird angle, but um, I just want to start off by saying my biggest takeaway from this class is that film is literally all about learning, starting from the storyline of the characters to learning actual historical context, um, life lessons, and so much more. I've realized that a film that has, a, I've realized that a film has so much more deeper meaning than it's just its storyline alone. Um, it's really an immersive experience for the audience, obviously, depending on how good the film is, but um, getting into adaptation versus appropriation. Um, this lesson actually resonated a lot with me. Um, growing up Filipino-American, Asian-American, I've never really seen a film in theaters that has some sort of representation of the Filipino people or uh, Asian people just in general. There is a lack of it a lot. Um, I guess this, you can say this goes practically for the majority of Black, Indigenous people of color. I can say most definitely we've progressed towards a more inclusive society in regards to films such as Crazy Rich Asians, Black Panther, um, and I wanted to dive in deeper into uh, Black Panther as an example of an adaptation. Directed by Ryan Coogler, an African-American filmmaker, um, the film also has great representation of the African-American community. The film is based on a fictional country of East Africa called Wakanda and addresses many topics of race and cultural, cultural heterogeneity among people of African descent. It continues to dive deeper into the strengths of black women as they're depicted as people in power, such as scientists and strong individuals and queens. While doing this, the film also dissects common stereotypes presented in media of men of color, families, and communities as well. Um, the film Black Panther is an incredible example of an adaptation. In no way does it exoticize nor fetish of African-American culture. The storyline removes everything from our reality and honors the African-American culture. Having a predominantly black cast, it doesn't mock anyone or anyone's culture, it translates and not imitates, correctly and appropriately presenting traditions, values, everything that makes up the culture practically. The film provides a learning experience for the audience members to honor and learn about the African-American culture. Um, an appropriation of a similar film would practically be whitewash. Um, diving deeper into that, um, if let's say Black Panther had the same plot and was directed by a white man and consisted of predominantly white cast, and the goal was to still present African-American culture, the film would rather be about the premeditated ideas, bias, and stereotypes of the culture that white people may hold. This is why it is so crucial in the process of filmmaking to appropriately create an adaptation of storylines that not only honors someone else's story, but teaches and gives the audience a learning opportunity to gain new knowledge of a group of people's culture, no matter the background. Um, a film series I absolutely adore is Fresh Off the Boat. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but it was created by an Iranian-American, Anashka Khan. Um, she's a daughter of Iranian immigrants. The film series storyline is loosely based on Ed Huang's life story as a son of Taiwanese immigrants. Um, Huang is also a director. Huang also helped direct the series. Uh, the film series is a sitcom-like, and it res resonates with me as I... Um, my parents are both Filipino immigrants. Um, I guess thinking about it, the Asian American experience is something that I sort of kept quiet about. Um, I grew up in a semi or a small summer rural town, town down south of Seattle. Um, and it's Maple Valley. It's predominantly white people. Like, um, I literally had no friends of color growing up besides my cousins who like lived in Renton. Um, just not a lot of diversity at all or representation in general. Um, Fresh Off the Boat, uh, the film series, really captured the experience of growing up as a child of Asian immigrants. And I believe Khan and Huang effectively create an adaptation of that experience. The series does, the series does show um, downsides of someone growing up with Asian immigrant parents, such as the culture shock when you leave your home, the normalized racist comments, and so much more. Um, and I'm not saying that uh, it sucks having Asian immigrant parents. I'm just saying in regards to the downsides, I'm saying like it's just a big cultural difference, especially when you're raised in a very white community. It's just, I don't know, it's something else. Uh, 
To me, the film series represents a doorway for um, audience members to see a new perspective of many Asian American childhood. Uh, it doesn't mock Asian culture. It correctly and appropriately presents Asian families, way of life, Asian American life experiences, and Asian American culture itself. While doing this, it also dissects Asian stereotypes and really shows a true uncensored and raw storyline of what it's like growing up in America as a child of Asian immigrants. Um, I'm going a bit off script, but it's very, I just, I, I've never really talked about uh, with my, because all my friends are white and I love my friends. It's just like growing up as an Asian American uh, with not a lot of uh, people who look like you to look up to, I guess, and stuff like that. It's just, it's almost like I just brush off uh, experiences, if that makes sense. Like, in elementary school, I was called Bruce Lee, or I just, was just called Bruce, and I didn't really understand it until I actually figured it out when I was older. But it's, the film to me is it's just, it's very important to me. It's an adaptation, and it kind of reemphasizes why, uh, how important it is to understand the differences between adaptation and appropriation, not only in just film, but in so many different ways. Um, okay, sorry, back to the thing. I can go on and on about how true film adaptations share so much important history and context to audiences, but I just wanna to touch base on audience responsibility and how I never really gave it thought on how important it is to actually show up and support these kind of films. Um, how it's so important as proactive human beings to physically show up on opening weekends for metrics as this is what the business of Hollywood is looking at. Um, where I put my money is important for two commonly suppressed black, indigenous, people of color, filmmakers, and cast members to share their story. Where I put my money is important for increased representation of black, indigenous, people of color, the film world. Um, with all this newfound knowledge, it's extremely important to me to not only do my part, but also help others learn the importance, not only of film and storytelling, but to actually physically show up as well and support the makings of more films like these as well. Um, I didn't really think that I would be so moved by learning the ins and outs of filmmaking and the film world in general, um, but here I am right now. Uh, I wanted to say thank you, Professor Camry, for shaping this class and making it more than just a GUR, making an eye-opening experience and something that will quite honestly resonate with me forever. It's so important to understand the difference between adaptation and appropriation, and even more important to recognize our responsibility not only, not only as audience members, but human beings. Um, like, I cannot express it enough how much this class has made me reflect upon my own life and my experiences as an Asian American. And I just never really thought that film can go so deep into storytelling and life experiences, but that's really what film is about. It's about sharing experiences, sharing new perspectives and learning about the world around you. And it's so crucial and so important for people like me and people around me to really understand the difference between adaptation and appropriation, especially in times like these. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate everything you did for this class. Uh, signing off, peace, Matthew.